What kind of drugs and substances have you tried already and do you miss something about the old you? Is there anything you feel a need to confess? I say this all the time, I change endlessly, I am constantly changing my mind about everything, so I like to do these kinds of Q&As, get to know me kind of videos, because the person you knew yesterday is not the person that got up this morning. I am picking questions from my Tumblr anonymous ask box. Are you a virgin? Of course I'm a virgin. Olive oil? I don't know. Anonymous asked me, how many tattoos do you have? I have 18 tattoos, I think, if you count them all individually, and they're all on my arms. And somebody else asked me what kind of tattoo do I want next, and I'm not exactly sure what exactly I want to tattoo, but I know that I definitely really want a red ink tattoo, so that is something that I've actually wanted for years now. Okay, what is your rising and moon sign? What is your midhaven? What sign is in your Venus? What sign do you feel most like? Oh, I love talking about astrology. Okay, so my sun is in Gemini. I'm born June 6th. My moon is in Virgo. Funny story, both of my parents are Virgos. It's just crazy. And my mom's moon is in Gemini. It's, I love my mom to death. We just are very different people personality wise, but it's crazy how our moons and suns are complete opposites. My rising sign is in Leo. So if you don't know, a rising sign is basically like the mask you wear in the outer world. So it's what other people perceive you as. It's kind of the character role that I play, and I play a Leo, which makes complete sense. Inside, I do not feel like a Leo. I don't even like getting my picture taken to us. I don't, I'm not like that. But in public, that's how I represent myself. I play this role of a Leo. Your moon sign, if you don't know, a moon sign is like your inner personality. It's like the things that go on in your mind kind of the complexes that you have and like the way that you work through things. My Venus is in Taurus which I think is a really good sign to have your Venus in. But what sign do I feel most like? I guess I do feel like a Gemini, but the thing is, whenever I meet other Geminis, I am literally terrified. These people are crazy. Like they just have so much energy. I'm a very quiet person, to be honest. Like when I'm in groups with people, I usually don't speak, I just listen. Sometimes I feel like a Scorpio though. <laughs> is there, ooh, this is an interesting question and I don't know why I'm so pulled to answer it. <laughs> is there anything you feel a need to confess? I don't feel like I need to confess something, but I have a very important message that I can't wait till I share with people. Something that I feel like could help a lot of people and save a lot of people and bring light to an issue. And it has absolutely nothing to do with the things that I do. So that's why I am trying to figure out a way to make my message cohesive with my content. But Anonymous asked me, fame or money? Money. Why? Because I think fame is actually a death sentence. I think it's absolute hell. Like there's no, I have so much sympathy for celebrities. I would just lose my shit and I know that. Um, so I definitely don't want to be famous. It's not like I like want money, but if I had to choose, if someone was like, take this fame or take this money, I'd take the money um, and do something useful with it. Do you miss something about the old you? This is a comment that I get a lot on my Russian YouTube channel is that she's not the same anymore, I miss the old you. And here's the thing, I actually have not changed. What has changed is the fact that I no longer feel like I have to hide who I am. And I've just said fuck it, and I, I'm just being myself. Because before, I used to think that I lived like a Hannah Montana life. So I would put on this camera, speak Russian, look like an idiot, you know, be completely just somebody that I wasn't, and not because I was faking it, but because it was just so unaligned to like who I was as a person and nothing to do with my culture or my growing up. And I think I'm just trying to be authentic now, and I, I, wasn't, I wasn't focused on that before. Um, so I don't miss the old me. No, no. <laughs> We're constantly changing and evolving, and if you're not growing and changing and evolving, then you're stagnant, then you're not growing, then you're dying. It just, it makes no sense why people cling on to this like idea of a person they had in the past when in reality, you don't even know the person. I'm not sure why I'm answering this question, but what kind of drugs and substances have you tried already and what is your experience and opinion on them? I do know that there are drugs and I know that there are tools. Um, for example, LSD, psilocybin, MDMA, people that suffer from um, treatment-resistant depression, people that suffer from PTSD. Those substances, if you will call it, have been proven to help, but sometimes those substances can make it worse. Then there are drugs like cocaine and meth and 
whatever, you know, like hard drugs. And I would put those in a different category and I would just say, stay the fuck away. Those bring absolutely no good ever. Maybe objectively speaking, drugs do more harm than they do good. Um, but there are cases where they are necessary, you know? And it's like, no matter how much you want to say, it's like, it's our culture and it's bad and it's blah, blah, blah. It's like, dude, it's like a part of our human nature that we want to escape reality. And drugs is often something that we use to escape reality and to numb the pain. And that's not something that's like, our culture is so fucked up. It's like, no, this is just who we are as human beings. It's, we're kind of escapists in negative situations and we use tools like drugs sometimes. What inspires me most in life? What inspires me most in life is extreme emotion that I feel and other artists. So working with other people and seeing that the way they turn their life story into a work of art incredibly inspires me. Are you going to the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show 2017? I am. Um, I recently re-signed my contract with Victoria's Secret. I've never been to Shanghai. If you guys have been to Shanghai or if you're from Shanghai, um, leave me a comment and let me know what kind of places you recommend me to see. Uh, Anonymous asked me which Polaroid camera do I use? Um, so I have a few. My favorite Polaroid camera of all time is the Impossible Project one, but mine broke. So I got this one thinking it would be so much better. It's called the SX70. This is what it looks like. Pretty damn cool, but it's very difficult to use, so I don't recommend it. You have to know photography to know how to use this. And this is one that I use pretty much every single day. This is the Fujifilm Instax Wide 300. This is what I use for pretty much all of my Polaroids because I just give them to anybody and uh, it's like an idiot proof camera. Like you don't need to know photography to know how to operate that camera, which I like because I ask random people to take pictures of me. Interesting question. Okay, I've been following you for a long time and it seems like you've become increasingly frustrated with the blogging community and more fake aspects of the fashion world. Just wanted to get your views on how you think your work will change going forward given that. Maybe I'm totally misinterpreting, but I would love to get your thoughts. Um, you're not misinterpreting, madam. It's not that I'm frustrated, it's just that I've realized that these people and I have absolutely nothing in common. So this is not what I'm on this earth to do. I am not on this planet to be a fashion blogger. Like, I'm not here to sell your product. I'm not a mannequin. I'm not a product either. So I want to create. That's what I want to do. It's just not what resonates with me. That's what I realized. Um, it doesn't make me happy. And I guess you can only figure that out through trial and error. It's literally really stupid. And I came to this conclusion yesterday when I was driving to, well, a few days ago, I was driving to work and I came to the conclusion that I love working, but what the fuck am I actually working on? Like, unless it is creative and beautiful and impacts people's lives and impacts my life and feels gratifying, like I'm wasting my time. I'm gonna try to include some clips from uh, the other footage. But anyway, last week I saw rain for the first time in like one month and I was so happy. And I decided to do this question and answer video at the top of a fucking mountain. Clouds and rain and mountains in California. I had a whole concept and everything. I wanted to be in nature, answer questions. The files ended up being unusable because guess what, Sonia? You can't record video on top of a mountain. Um, I know that I always dreamt of living in New York, but trust me, being in New York for one... So I got a question asking, what do I think about casual sex? Because I honestly can't wrap my mind around it. I don't know. I think sex is something so intimate and it is. It's beyond sex. It's like total trust in that person. It's total vulnerability. I don't see myself ever being able to do that. Um, I know personally with a lot of my friends, they wouldn't be able to do it. But I know that there are people in this universe who at least say that they can use casual sex or they don't catch feelings for this person. But beyond that, what I would say is I think that's incredibly dangerous because you are putting yourself at risk of a lot of sexually transmitted infections. You're putting yourself in the hands of strangers. Do whatever you want, just please be safe about it. I don't know. It's not something that I think about often too, so I don't think I necessarily have like a composed answer to this. Okay, what do I eat in a day? I make a matcha green tea latte with like collagen powder in it and stuff like that for breakfast. For dinner, something that I've really been into lately is making uh, zucchini pasta with marinara sauce. And I eat Halo Top every single night, Halo Top ice cream. It's like a protein ice cream. But my favorite foods in the world are like lobster, crab, 
miso glazed cod, sweet potatoes, spirulina popcorn, which is like green algae popcorn. But I don't follow a diet. I'm not 15 anymore. When I was 15, I followed a lot of diets and uh, that led to me losing my hair, losing my menstrual cycle for two years. Uh, shall I go on? There's like a whole plethora of health problems that I had when I followed like internet diets. So I just do whatever the hell I want. If I feel healthy, if I have energy, if I like the way I look, I'm great. I do a blood test like twice every year or something like that just to make sure I'm actually internally okay. I hope you guys liked nature. I'll catch you next time.